Okay, so who's the idiot that forgot to put the audio track on the video from yesterday? That would be me. Um, I'm sorry guys, I fudged up and uh, I've made it right for today. So basically all I did was forget to put the friggin' audio track on this video when I rendered it out and for some reason I was in such a rush that I didn't end up watching it back. So I'll cut to the actual video now and this time there's actually commentary to go alongside the video. So I hope you enjoy guys. Hey, what's going on guys? It is Lasty here and welcome to episode number 5 of Balling with Burkamp. Uh, the series obviously where we do this RTG around Dennis Burkamp, the legend on Ultimate Team. Uh, and we have a lot of fun doing it. So first off, if you guys are looking to buy any coins, check out the fifashop.co.uk and make sure you use that code LA5TY to get yourselves a nice 5% discount. All links are down below in the description. And if this video can hit 2,000 likes, that would be epic. Do me a favor, drop a like on the vid right now. That would be awesome. Uh, so this is the squad that we were currently rocking with. And the last episode, it went horribly, uh, horribly wrong and I just was not happy with it. So you know what? Um, we sent pretty much all of them players to the trade pile. We went out and bought some <coughs> players again. Some of the same players, but obviously in just a different position and stuff like that. Uh, we get this guy, Schmitz, who looks to be all right at left back. We get Behrens as a right uh, winger, uh, but we need to move him back to a right mid. And then we nailed him as a striker, and we end up with this. We change it to something that should hopefully be a little bit more solid. I think that 4-3-3 that we were using is just far too attacking so once i had managed to get some position cards and some chemistry styles uh, the team did obviously then look like this no different but everyone has now got like a, a chemistry style and stuff on them so there's burkamp 11 goals in six games played um then when i went onto my account i obviously i sold a few of these players on from uh, when I last played with it, you know, we got a few thousand coins back from that. So we go into a game and come up against this guy. It's an English team, a hell of a lot of pace in this squad, so much pace. Um, quickest player there, probably uh, the centre-back, Mertesacker, uh, with a whopping 30-odd pace right there. But second minute, we get through annihilating with Leroy Fair. Now that right there is awesome. Uh, seventh minute, we're through with Bergkamp. Little heel click. He holds off that defender, chops back, and then stuffs it home. 2-0 in eight minutes. That right there is awesome. Uh, Van Ginkel plays through Bergkamp. Again, we just sort of take it, cut inside, and a lovely finesse shot past the keeper. 3-0 in 14 minutes. And I thought, okay, this could be an absolute rout. Um, but he did start to play all right. He gets through pretty sloppy defending from myself, to be fair. And around that 13th minute, he does manage to get a goal back in this game. But we go into half time with the 3-1 lead. As you can see, he sort of kept possession all right, not too bad. Uh, but we had, obviously, more chances and stuff like that. And into the second half, uh, Bergkamp plays through Wijnaldum right here. And uh, he is just breaking free. And he slots it home in the back of the net. Really great little player, actually. From uh, the first game that I used him, I started thinking he's going he's gonna to be far better than whatever we were using beforehand. Bergkamp gets quite lucky to stick it in the back of the net there. So a 5-1. Um, we try crossing it in, he heads it away, and then Fur just sticks a leg in and makes it 6-1 early in the second half. Bergkamp, right from his kickoff, then takes it back. Couple of skill moves, couple of roulettes and chops and stuff, and then he smashes it home. 7-1, 57 minutes. What a goal from Bergkamp as well. Uh, and then Bergkamp, again, just a couple of little clicks and stuff, and uh, roulettes and spizzles and swazzles and all sorts of skills, and he stuffs it home with a lovely finish. 8-1, and that is how that game is going to finish. Five goals for Bergkamp in that game. Takes his tally up to about 16, 17, what is it? I can't really remember. Um, but we have got 5,000 coins and two gold packs. We also get uh, 10,000 coins for a hat-trick bonus. Plus, he'll also get, we'll also pay Bergkamp for two goals uh, and also the assist. And all the other players will pay them for them goals as well. So that ends up being 29,000 coins for that absolute rout of that guy. Um, which is awesome. Takes us up to 68,000 coins. And we've nearly got enough money in the bank to actually build... Um, I, what I would say is nearly that entire second squad uh, that we are going to think about buying right now. So that's awesome. Um, open up our second pack right here and we get ourselves Hooth. No, not really going to keep him, are we? So we stick him in the transfer pile. 
um, just uh, in case we need him in a little while to uh, sell on for you know our match bonuses and stuff. So we've built that full, fully built the first squad. Obviously, we'll be playing with it for the foreseeable future until we've built this second one. But we can begin to start adding players to it from now. So the formation we're going to go with is this right here, the four-two-three-one, uh, the original version of it. I'm not really a fan of it. But I think we should at least give it a go, uh, change it up a little bit and get a, you know, I'm sure it can be a fairly solid formation. There's a couple of defensive mids. So we'll go out and buy our first player for this squad. And it is going to be a Hunter uh, version of Clarence Sadoff's in form. Looks to be a tidy, tidy player. Uh, really looking forward to using him because, you know, everyone classes him as like a legend. Uh, and then we go out into the second, uh, into the market to get our second player. And it's going to be a... Um, De Jong as a CDM over that side. So this is what it's looking like, looking like so far. Should be pretty good. Uh, but we move back to the first squad. And I do go out and actually buy a couple of squad fitnesses. We haven't been lucky enough in packs to really get them. And my players were running quite low. So, you know, it was necessary. We went out and bought them. And, of course, just applied them to the squad. Um... I was feeling a lot more comfortable with this squad. As soon as I started playing with it, uh, it just felt so much more... It just felt stronger than that other 4-3-3 uh, squad that we were using. But we go on into a match against this. And I am like, oh my god, that looks so tasty. What a tidy looking team that is. Uh, I was worried. Um, you know, we've got Depe, we've got Jesse Rodriguez, Sisi, or whatever his name is. Uh, or Suso, or whatever it is up front. And... Right from the get-go, this guy, I've got to say, is probably one of the best players I've ever come up against. He, I couldn't get near him. Uh, I don't know what it was about him, but his like thought processes and his wavelength was like completely different to mine. Uh, he always had two or three players around me when I was on the ball. I couldn't get a shot in on goal at all. Uh, and his like pass and move and skills and stuff, look, look at this right here. Just cuts it back and absolutely does two of my defenders. Thank God my keeper saved that one. Otherwise, that would have been very, very embarrassing. We do sort of get through with Bergkamp right here. And I was like, that's the most space I've seen in this entire game. So I had to take a shot. Uh, but his keeper did manage to save. Uh, again, cutting through two of my defenders like it was absolutely nothing. And pinging a shot off the top of the bar. Somehow, I don't know how, but I made it to half time at 0-0. And as you can see there... I was getting absolutely dominated. Honestly, this guy was just too much for me. Um, a few defensive errors in my part. Like, I'm trying to clear it here, and it just doesn't do it. And he gets through and scores from that. And that was what was really frustrating for me, is because one of the goals that he got, he didn't actually score a nice goal. And he had plenty of chances to do so. Uh, so that really frustrated me. But um, overall, I was just so frustrated. And look at this pass and move. This is probably one of the nicest bits of play I've seen. And then he finishes it off with that. Oh my god. I just got absolutely done. I mean, that was redonkulous. That was such a lovely goal. Uh, I fully deserved to lose that game. It was such a shame. I was so pissed off afterwards. Uh, I had to stop playing because it was just... It was too much. Um... I couldn't get near the ball and I really, really hate that. I like to play sort of possession play and I just couldn't get near it. So obviously we don't pay ourselves at all because we never we never scored. We never did anything good in that last game at all. Here's Bergkamp at the moment then. 16 goals in 8 games. That is equal to 2 goals a game. Looking pretty solid. Uh, and the squad right here is, is tasty. We've played the 2 games with it. 1, we've been absolutely annihilated. Uh, but only let a couple of goals in. And then 2... Uh, we've scored eight goals uh, in one game, which is really, really solid. So I reckon this is going to be a good team. I've just got to get used to it and stuff. So if you've enjoyed, guys, please do drop a like. There'll be more of this tomorrow if you guys hit that 2,000 likes target. Thank you for watching. I'll catch you next time. Peace.